This might be a disaster, but you know what? I'm having fun. This is gonna be good. There's like a pound of butter and cheese, so there's no way it's not gonna be good. I don't have no recipes. My recipes are in here and here. Shells, three cheeses, it's definitely mac and cheese. I see mac and cheese, mac and cheese. I love big shells. It like catches the cheese the best. Elbows, number 81. It took them a lot of tries, but they got it right. Ooh, evaporated milk, that'll be fun. Why not a little bit of Velveeta, classic American cheese stuff. And for my crumbs, I'm gonna use this. This is what I'm gonna use because I have so many at home I don't even know what to do with them. We're taking this over here. We're gonna get started. It's not all fitting on the tray. I make mac and cheese for my daughters every day, all day. No, 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 not all day. I haven't made a lot of mac and cheese. In fact, I never do, but I have some ideas. Okay, let's cook. Let's do this. So first, I'm gonna start the cheese sauce. I got my saucepan. It's a perfect pan for sauce. I'm gonna add some butter. I'm gonna do half a stick. And I'm gonna throw some flour in. I'm not measuring anything. This is probably a bad idea, but that's how we do it at home. I love mac and cheese. I don't really make mac and cheese. I know what's supposed to be done. I just don't know if I'm doing it right. The first thing I'm gonna do is just cut my veggies and grate the cheese. This is all gonna go into the cheese sauce that I'm making. First, pasta in the boiling water. I'm using a little bit of kosher salt, and then I'm using this pasta, cavatappi. Why I choose this? Because it looks fancy, and that's what professionals do. We use fancy stuff to impress people. Basically, it's like two elbows in one. Do this. I have all my ingredients here because I'm gonna use them very quickly. Yeah, there's some milk. Now, I don't know if I'm adding the right amount of any of this stuff. I chose cayenne pepper and garlic powder as my seasonings along with some salt. I'm gonna use jalapeno peppers and a red Fresno pepper because I love spicy things. I'm gonna do two different colors just so that it's a little more fun to look at. I'm gonna do garlic and some parsley. I'm gonna mix it in with the panko. I'm actually gonna add in some of the Velveeta. Velveeta got me through my younger years. What is this? Milk? What the Oh, it's a cheese product. I'm not using this cheese product. Velveeta will add um, just the general cheese flavor. It'll be something where you'll taste it and you'll be like, I recognize this, this is, this is food. I'm gonna grate my cheeses. I'm gonna start with the Gruyere. We'll do the aged cheddar and I'll probably finish off with the Parmesan. Yeah, that's a good amount of cheese. My pasta is in the water, now it's time to make the sauce. We're gonna start with onions. Onion. I'm gonna sweat out my garlic and onions with a little bit of the butter. A little bit of salt. Whew, this onion is spicy. I'm gonna sweat the onions and that's gonna add some sweetness. I'm gonna put some salt and some olive oil. This looks pretty good. It looks awfully thick. Thicker than I was expecting. I don't want it to be too much. This might be a disaster, but you know what? I'm having fun. I don't know if this is the way I should have done it, but we'll see. I really think like the thing about cooking is like to not be afraid, to just like try it, you know? I'm gonna add garlic. My daughters, they don't love garlic, they don't love onion. So when I do this part, I kind of hide, because I don't want them to like, oh, I don't like onion, daddy. That's how you get your vegetables into your kids, by lying to them. The garlic is just gonna make this pasta delicious, because that's what the flavor is, you know? We're gonna put a little bit of butter. The nutmeg is gonna add a nutty flavor, because you know, that is good. So I want the nagmi to release all the flavors into the butter. Okay, now, very important thing right here, we're gonna lower the heat. Remember, you control the heat. The heat doesn't control you. I'm going to add a little bit more butter and some flour, flour. to make a roux, which will be a thickener to make this nice and creamy. The flour is gonna make the sauce thicker. I don't really measure anything. I kind of just eyeball it. I know that like with um, roux, you're supposed to get it to like, sort of like smell like bread, and that's when you know it's kind of done. We're gonna stir, 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 and then we're gonna add some. Latte. So I'm adding my evaporated milk, and I actually just read about this recently, that evaporated milk makes it creamier, so I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna add the milk as we go, little by little. See, but you have to keep moving it, because otherwise you'll have crumble sauce. So we already cooked the flour, the sauce is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. Of course, black pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I'm gonna add some fresh nutmeg into the sauce. <laughs> my little nutmeg. I can hear my daughter be like, 
Daddy, is the food ready? I don't want the onion. Well, this is cooking. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat. Fresno has the peppery jalapeno taste, but without being too spicy. And now I just need my Mac Elbow Macaroni number 81. Mm, bang. I like to use the larger shells because I think that it'll be a better way to catch the sauce. Um, I definitely prefer it actually to um, macaroni, which I know is mac and cheese, but I think that the shells are gonna be really, really great. Pasta cooks for five minutes according to the, according, uh, according to them. It cooks for five minutes. I don't know how to say that. I am actually gonna set the timer for a little bit less than what it says on the package because I'm gonna bake this in the oven as well, so I don't want it to get too overcooked. Now I am checking in on my sauce. It's looking pretty good and thick. I tasted it and I feel like it needs a little more Velveeta, uh, I don't know who else cooks like this, but I just kind of keep tasting things until it tastes like how my mouth wants it to be. The pasta is about to come out. Okay, now, a ver, we want this al dente. If you see this white part right here in the middle, that means it's al dente. Definitely al dente. Now we're gonna shut it off, because we don't want this to be cooked anymore. We're gonna add the pasta with a little bit of pasta water. Oof. I'm gonna wait for the cheese to add it in the end because I don't want the cheese to break down. I'm doing this double strain thing to make sure I get as much water out of this as possible. Since I'm baking this, I want this to be nice and saucy. I don't want this to be all dry because otherwise it will break. Time to add some cheese. I'm using Kraft sharp cheddar and Cabot extra sharp. I'm keeping it simple. I'm going like straight down the middle. You know what you expect from, you know, if you ever had a parent who didn't know how to cook. Now I am ready to add the cheese. I'm gonna fold all of this in. So I have H cheddar cheese, my Parmesan cheese, but I think I need one more cheese. So I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna mix two cheddar. This simple cheddar and this cheddar. Let's see how good it is. Mmm, ooh, sharp, beautiful. Sharp, delicious. You need a lot of cheese for this. It's the only way. Oh, look at, look at this. It is super gooey. Look at that, it's so thick. Hey, it's gonna be good. All right, let's check on my noodles. I mean, they look, you know, they look like noodles. All right, I'm gonna start taking my noodles out. Now, I'm going to marry the pasta with those cheeses. Throw in some regular sharp cheddar, and then we're gonna mix it around and let these uh, cheddars melt. Look at that. Cheese is melting up beautifully. This looks really good right now. Okay, before we bake it, we're gonna make sure you try it. Oh my gosh. On the rare occasion when I cook mac and cheese, I don't have fancy cheeses, and now I do. So I'm gonna choose to add a fancy cheese because I wanna win. So I'm gonna go with the Gruyere. When Chef Saul tastes mine and he's like, why is this so fancy? I'm like, yeah, I don't know, it's just a, it's just a thing I do. Uh, don't worry about it. So now I'm gonna add in my diced jalapeno peppers and Fresno chilies. I'm gonna sort of slowly fold in my sauce. Ah! <laughs> I'm okay. Just um, sometimes, you know, it takes a little muscle to cook. Who says that you're not working out a little bit? So I'm adding this all now together. And actually, I was thinking a little bit of fresh herbs would benefit this. I think it'll be just really nice in there. I'm gonna add an egg yolk. The reason why I add an egg yolk, just in case the pasta gets overcooked, this will hold it together. Yeah, I'm crazy, so what? You don't want to add egg? Don't add egg. Let me be. Did I tell you how you live your life? No. This is how I eat my pasta. This looks really good, dare I say, perfect. And it's ready to go into the oven with some breadcrumbs and get baked. I have a baking dish right here. I'm gonna scoop my mac and cheese into there. I don't know how everybody else eats their mac and cheese, but I like it. A lot of cheese, real sticky, real thick. I'm going to place this into a buttered dish, kind of spread it around evenly. Now I'm gonna put this in a cast iron pan. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit more. And now the parmigiano, reggiano. This is gonna add, I would say, a salt element. I have had the oven preheated to 375. I'm gonna pop this in there. I got breadcrumbs, Italian style. I'm gonna add them to the macaroni to give it that authentic Italian flavor, just to give it a little bit of a variety and texture. That might be a little too much, but you know what? When you mix it in, it's gonna be just right. Nothing can go wrong for me. 
So um, I have my panko and I am just gonna add actually some dry spices now. And because I want everything to be spicy. And my bread crumbs. Ooh. 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 Like I said, I don't really measure anything. I just kind of go with what I think looks good and then I'll just taste it. Oh, wait. There is more. It needs a little color. After the mac and cheese has been in the oven, I'm gonna spread this on top and then toast it in the broiler for about two minutes. Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna try one. It's really good. I'm really happy. This will just add a nice crunch to it to top. I'm gonna kind of watch it just to see how long it takes to toast. I'm sort of unfamiliar with what, the, what it's gonna look like. So, you know, I'll take a look and see how it goes. Got it in the bacon dish. This is ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put it in at 350 for, you know, a while. I'm gonna broil this for like three, four, five minutes. You have a nice caramelized crust. Then dinner is ready. Guess what? It's time to get my mac and cheese out of the oven. It's ready. It looks so good. I'm really excited. It's exactly the kind of like browning that I wanted it to have. I wanted the breadcrumbs to get browner. They didn't get as brown as I would have liked, but I didn't want to overcook the mac and cheese itself, which is the star of the show, so I had to pull it out. Uh, I think they'll still be nice and crunchy. Hello, there you are. Look at this, look at this. Coming through, caliente. It looks like a mac and cheese cake. Now I just have to plate this and eat it. And then we go into the competition. It's not a competition. We're, it's not a competition, but no way. My plating method is called the slop. Uh, I learned it at Le Cordon Bleu. I just take the spoon, I take it out, and I just slop it. I want some of the crispy stuff. That looks awesome, I'm so happy with it. Oof. Oops, sorry. <sighs> Look at you guys. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, let's start with those. Would All right, ask? judges, I've prepared for you a mac and cheese <laughs> with breadcrumbs. Sounds like what I did. <laughs> yeah. All right, so see, we, uh, I'm like a chef. You have right. kids? I don't have kids. Well, no. I think you're ready to. Yeah, you to think have I some, can... Yeah, I mean, they will be very happy with this. We're going to try mine now. I can't wait for you guys to try this. Wow, that's really good. Yeah? Oh, my God. Yeah? I love Dude. this spicy. It's my kind of mac and cheese. This is amazing. This oh, makes me feel good. so good. All right, my turn. I make this for my daughters all the time. Also, I did a read for from I didn't yeah. even know what to do with those. Yeah. And even though it looks spicy, but I don't think it's spicy. It's really good. That's it, so good. And it's like perfect creamy. And I use the double elbow pasta because it looks like that one. But, but it's it... twice as good. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I really appreciate mac and cheese on a new level now. You cook it a lot, but maybe for us. Yeah, I think I might feel, add this. You putting it in the repertoire? Yeah. I probably won't. <laughs> I'll still go. I'm going back to the box after this, but I'm real proud of myself. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah.